So just when you think Valve's most recent addition, that being the Armory update to Counter-Strike 2, was it that couldn't be further from the truth, at least for right now. Just like most CS2 updates, especially the larger ones in file size, they tend to come with dozens of future update leaks via data mines, and last night was no different. From gameplay fixes, additions, and new mentions from the devs reworking train, CS devs possibly working and adding a Street Fighter game mode, similar to what Dota 2 saw a few months ago with Crownfall 3. And as it stands for Counter-Strike 2 right now, this is just scratching the surface. Now, I would like to mention, because we're breaking down data mines and speculating what could be coming soon, but it's not really speculation because we have evidence in game files that not all these data mines might come to light. This is also very similar to just everyday Valve projects. Now, if it's brand new IP or title in a beloved franchise, these can sometimes be scrapped near the start or sometimes later in production, or in some cases, they could be merged into something much larger. Take keychains in CS2 as a game, for instance. These were both leaked in data mines months before the release. Today's video, we're gonna dive deep into last night's updates, but specifically behind the scenes with data mines. We're gonna see what myself and other players in the community have discovered, mainly being with future content. We're gonna discuss all that alongside a bunch more. Now, today's video sponsor is Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is a CS2 trading site for all your skin needs. Whether you're choosing to deposit your in-game items or real-life cash, Skins Monkey has it all. If you choose to trade yet need to top up your balance, you can do so by also using my code MANDO for a free $5. Alongside depositing, you get an additional 35% of a deposit bonus. With Skins Monkey's large variety of skins, they also offer daily, weekly, and monthly giveaways. If interested, the link will be in the top of the description down below. Now, right off the bat, I gotta say that this update was jam-packed of fixes, cosmetic changes, and additions but whoa, CS devs will have definitely delivered if some of these leaks through data mines come true. But who's to say they haven't already delivered? Now to begin with the breakdown with these leaks through data mines, let's start with what Valve classifies an operation. After last night's update, that being the Armory update, Valve is considering that now to be an operation via data mines. In the Battle Pass-like system, what we saw in Operation Riptide, Broken Fang, and Shattered Web, that could now be a permanent thing in the game. Now similar to how Dota and other first-person shooters, let alone just games in general, receive seasonal updates, with a seasonal Battle Pass, Counter-Strike might be the exact same. It's just every new season, for whenever that will be, items could and very well will refresh, at least from how that's worded in data mines. And like we mentioned at the beginning of the video, a lot can change until it's finally released. And yes, I completely understand from the perspective where there's a lot of players saying there's not a whole lot of gameplay changes or additions with content, more so just cosmetics. There's been a big concern that there's no co-op missions for what Valve is calling the Armory Update and Operation, but as of now, we can't compare this Armory Update to an Operation because Operation Riptide in 2021 didn't even release with co-op missions to begin with, let alone with this many new cosmetics. Right now, we have an entirely new game, and I believe, especially based off these data mines from today, new modes and maps will be added soon. Now, speaking of new maps, and one that's been around for quite some time in the Counter-Strike franchise, is Train. Now, Train was first showcased in the very first CS2 trailer where we got a quick glimpse, but ever since then, it's now been almost two years, we have yet to almost see anything of it in the game. That's until last night. Now, Train was found in the game files last night to be having an entirely new rework. Now, if they're gonna switch the map layout entirely, I'm not sure. I'm assuming they're gonna switch some things around because the map was heavily CT-sided. Now, CS devs, as of now, seem to be working on Train alongside a slew of other things such as Inferno and a dozen other maps. Mainly for Inferno and the dozen other, they changed a bunch of lighting on them, mainly to make the maps more dark, but also the reduction in background noise, which Train is also listed in this change where it received a fix to ambient noise there as well, making the Train remake even more real than it was before. Now for Train receiving a rework could also be a major reason why we haven't seen it in the game yet. Devs are taking their time, they want to make it work, and they want to have players enjoy it and for it not to be a one-sided map. Also, according to last night's update via data mines, we can also see a new fighting game mode was found in the game files, which has led many players to think a similar mode to Sleep Fighter from Dota is on its way, or possibly a new game altogether just in the Counter-Strike universe. And because CS2 just received its quote-unquote first Operation Battle Pass, this could very well come soon, maybe in Season 2 or 3, especially if Valve keeps this thing going. It would only make sense. Now, after last night's update, Valve have also introduced a brand new logo that will appear in everyone's inventory in-game, specifically being for detaching charms. Now, for when and if you buy charms or earn them through the Battle Pass, whenever you apply them to a weapon, instead of just removing them and, like, stickers being gone forever, weapon charms are here to stay and you can remove them and put them on any weapon at any point in time. Now, trade-up contracts and the stat track swap tool logos have also been remade, which is definitely interesting to why this, well, we got this now, but I gotta say it's better late than never. Now, with all that being said, that pretty much concludes the data mines for new and upcoming content for CS2. I would personally expect Train to be released before the end of this year. There was an argument that we wouldn't receive anything large before the Shanghai Major, especially being this close, but because we just got the Armory update with 100 plus skins, that's most likely also gonna overlap the Shanghai Major and the sticker sale. Now, like we previously stated, I believe the Battle Pass is here to stay, but also sadly for some, it's also a replacement for operations going forward. And as of now, you can't buy stars, so it makes it more consumer friendly, if that's the way you'd want to put it. And I think as it stands for seasons, it's going to rotate out with new cosmetics as time goes on. And the current limited edition item that you can get for 25 stars, or at least try to get, right now it's the knockoff Deagle Blue Gem, that would most likely be rotated out every season. And who's to say as time goes on with every season that releases, we couldn't see new maps and modes, well, to complete stars. Maybe one earns you more XP than another, and maybe we could receive co-op missions. Now let me know what you guys think down below, what leak you guys are most excited 
excited for. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay positive, sexy. I'm out, guys. Peace.